This time last year Square Enix made the surprise announcement that they'd signed a multi-game deal with Marvel Studios, to make console games based on their movies. The only one they announced was something called The Avengers Project, and the only thing they said about it is that it's a collaboration between Tomb Raider developer Crystal Dynamics and DSX maker Eidos Montreal. And that was that, with only a promise that more information would follow in 2018. Well, it's 2018 now and Crystal Dynamics has just announced a major new studio expansion that involves hiring veterans from a number of well-regarded developers. There are 15 new appointments in total, including former Naughty Dog creative director Sean S. Gage and Stephen Barry, a 27-year veteran of EA Visceral Games who presumably worked on the now-cancelled single-player Star Wars game. Other new hires hail from studios ranging from Call of Duty, World War II maker Sledgehammer Games to Middle-Earth, Shadow of War developer Monolith Productions, Batman, Arxum Origins maker WB Games Montreal, and Star Wars, Battlefront creator DICE. Despite the announcement there's still no actual news on the Avengers game, with Crystal Dynamics CEO head Scott Amos simply saying that, the tremendous progress we've made on the Avengers project further drives us toward our goal of crafting something all Marvel fans will be proud of, and will play for years to come. We can't wait to show you what we mean in the future. An optimistic reading of that comment would be that they're building up to a reveal in the next few months, or at least E3 in June. And yet Crystal Dynamics also has a new Tomb Raider to announce, which is why they needed to expand their studio in the first place. But while there have been plenty of leaks and rumors about something called Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's never been officially announced. You'd think they'd want to reveal something by the time of the new movie in March, but so far there's been nothing.